It's this beautiful painting of some sort of hunting scene involving what seem to be these wild animals, a type of wild pig, as well as a type of miniature buffalo known as an anoa, only found on this island. Very small but dangerous animals. Uh, amongst this uh, group of animals running across the cave wall, essentially, you can see a, a whole group of these tiny little hunters which at first we thought, wow, these look like little people hunting these animals. But when you look closely at them, you can see that the, the figures themselves have been portrayed as part human, part animal creatures. They're what we call therianthropes. Uh, like, for example, one of them seems to have the head of a bird and another one seems to have a tail. They're armed with what seem to be spears or ropes that they're using to hunt these, these wild animals. It, it suggested to us this, this extraordinary scene shows some sort of story or, or myth. Rock art is exceptionally difficult to date in the best of circumstances. We find the rock art in these limestone caves where naturally over time these mineral growths develop all over the cave wall. And in some cases, when we're very lucky, these mineral growths develop over the ancient rock art. And, and they're like a calcium a carbonate coating and we can date them with the uranium series dating. So essentially we can date when those cave popcorn formed on top of the painting so it provides us with a minimum age. So that's why we can say that this panel here is at least uh, 43.9 thousand years old. So it could be much older than that. This was just mind-boggling because this showed us that this was possibly the oldest rock art anywhere on the face of the planet. It's also the earliest what we call figurative art, an, an image of something that formally resembles what it's intended to represent. 